my name is Will and welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. Finally, okay. Finally, I'm coming to you all with my favorites video. I feel like this is just long overdue. I have so many things that are my favorite things right now um, and I haven't put out this video because I simply just didn't have enough favorite things. But your boy has been turning over rocks looking for things to be interested in and I found a few, th not a few things, a whole lot of things. And now we are gonna talk about it, okay? But first, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. Welcome <laughs> to my favorites video. Now I know y'all can sit up here and listen to me talk all day, okay? On and on and on and on about what I'm interested in, but I'm gonna try to make this like a Manhattan bound express train, quick. And like the Grammys, we're gonna serve this up in category. First category, food. Food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's so good in my tummy. Hey. So I'm not necessarily what you would call a foodie. I ain't snapping pics of my macaroni and cheese to put it up on Instagram. I'm a big snacker. I like little things that I can take with me wherever I go because your boy is a world traveler. So I'm always trying out weird little things. One of those things is this. Now you're like, what is that, Will? Let me tell you. So I picked these things up at Walmart. They're by this company called Frozen Bean. They make these frappe blends. They were like $1.50 each at Walmart. I was in the aisle like, okay. Now, if I bought the same drink at Starbucks, how much would it cost? A mansion and a leg. Okay, so therefore, I need to buy this right now. <coughs> so I got like five of them. Do the math, I drank two. And they come in all sorts of fun flavors. Okay, we got cotton candy. We have mocha. And we also have the regular, you know, plain old vanilla. Chocolate vanilla swirl with cookie crunch flavor. You can either put it in a blender and put some ice in it and just like make a sort of frozen latte or you can just make it hot. Open it up, pour it in, and you're done, sis. <laughs> you're out the door. These are really, ooh. Okay. No, but these are really good and I highly recommend them. Even though they have like artificial flavors in them, girl, every once in a while you gotta live on the edge, you know, live on the wild side. I also bought these cute straws and a cup so that I can be real bougie with it. Other things in this category that I've been obsessed with are sushi, um, Subway. I live for some Subway. A veggie delight right now. Also some flatbread, lettuce, tomato, onion, green peppers, sis, banana peppers, jalapenos, a little bit of Chipotle Southwest, and one squirt of mayonnaise. <gasps> they always be like, do you want this toasted? I'll be like, no. Mm -mm. And also jelly. I've been really obsessed with Jello lately. Jello and like whipped cream. It's like gross. It's so disgusting when I think about it. But when I'm eating it, it just. It feels good. I'm also really into fruit smoothies. I have my little blender over there and I've also been purchasing these mixed fruit bags. Great value sis, cheap, cheap, gang, gang. This was maybe like $2.50. Put it in a blender with some ice and maybe some almond milk. It fills you up, which is nice, but also you get all of your, you know, your nutrients. You get the vitamin C and all the other good things that come in strawberries and peaches apparently. And there's no added sugar. <sighs> I live for it. Another thing that I already know is gonna be my favorite, even though I haven't like tried it out yet, is this matcha tea, girl. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of matcha tea. Can you even really see it? My exposure is all the way up. It's just like flavored matcha, right? This is mango matcha, and then we have, I think vanilla. Yeah, vanilla matcha. What you do is you froth it up, and then you pour hot water in it, and then you drink it. It's supposed to be really good, and I've been obsessed with this for the longest, and I'm so happy that they sent me some. So now I'm gonna make some, and I'll show you all what that's like. Moving on to the next category, TV and film. What am I watching? <laughs> Everybody wants to know. Low-key, I'm not even like a big old TV film person. Like I don't watch TV all that often. And movies, I just don't have the attention span. If it ain't Black Panther, I ain't watching it. Movies in general, I'm always watching things from the past. Always like brushing up on my Cheetah Girls, you know what I mean? I really be in here watching Jump In like, push it, push it to the limit. But that's the tea on me and movies, okay? I don't really watch them. <laughs> TV, a bit different. There's so many Television shows. It's super hard for me to get into those TV shows that everybody likes. Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, Empire. I just, I don't know, I can't do it. Now I did give all of those an honest try, but usually when I'm finding a television show, I find it because like I'm obsessed with somebody who I know is in that show. There are a few people that I'll come across maybe on YouTube or maybe a friend will show them to me. I'll just like get so obsessed with who they are and I'll watch all of their interviews. I'll watch all of their shows from back in the days. I'll just watch it all until I'm so obsessed with them that I find a TV show that they're in and then I just have to binge watch it. And the people that I get obsessed with are like so random and they're people that probably you would never think that I would be interested in. There's this guy named John Early who I think is up and coming. He's really just like getting his foot in the door right now. I made like that feature film starring Beyonce and got obsessed. There's this show Search Party that he's in. I think it was on, maybe it was on Netflix. I'm not really sure. To BH, I just find it on the internet somewhere. 
It's about a girl who goes missing and there's this group of friends that knew that girl who went missing back in college. And they feel strangely connected to her story and so they start searching for her girl. It's called Search Party. And then somehow along the way they like commit a murder and it's just, girl, it's a hot mess but it's so funny at the same time. That moment when your hair falls out? Broad City. Broad City has been my favorite show. I literally watched every single season over three times. Alana Glazier and Abby, mm, girl, I don't remember her last name, but they're like a comedy duo and they're so funny together. I don't even know how to explain Broad City, but it's two girls who are living in New York City, girl. <laughs> It's just a show about their daily lives and it's just like so ridiculous. Roll the clip. Since Todd wouldn't give me my paycheck. Girl! <laughs> you took all of his office supplies? Listen, what I do at my place of work is none of your god business, okay? Okay, I think you really need to be fired really I soon. Know. Game of Thrones, sis. I'm obsessed. I can't, there's no way for me to explain that. Literally so many plots at once. I think that's why it's so interesting, but somehow all of the plots mix together and they like affect one another and it's just a lot and there's dragons and you need to watch it. Go ahead and get through like the first episode. There is like, it's like nothing's off limits. It's a lot of crazy stuff. It gets funny, it gets dramatic, sad, heartfelt. Every word in the dictionary. And last but not least, what I'm obsessed with right now because my homegirls Chloe and Hallie are in it, Grownish. Grownish is a spinoff of Blackish, which obviously we all love Blackish. Grownish is so funny. It's more geared towards, you know, the youngins, the kids, the cool kids. But Chloe and Hallie are in it and they literally curse every single time they talk. Something about that is just so funny to me. And they're so good at acting, okay? They're already these bomb singers and they can act too. Save some talent for the rest of us. I tried to save money and do this at-home waxing thing, but all I had was a pumpkin spice Yankee candle. Autumn vibes, though. Well, why the hell would you do that? Because waxing isn't cheap. And the women in our family grow facial hair like Anthony Davis. Moving on to hair products. I have so many products. Oh my God. I want to try every product on planet Earth. Okay, even though I've already found products that work for me, girl, I just feel like I need to snatch more off the shelves. So here are a few products that I've snatched off the shelves. You already know that I like the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. That's like a holy grail. Paired with the Curling Gel Souffle from Shea Moisture as well. I love that. Allocate Natural Shea Yogurt. This stuff is amazing. Go ahead and use my code, Will15, for 15% off. You can use the link in my description box and head right on over there, girl. Anything you want, okay, you'll get 15% off. But I do really like this, especially for like my protective styles, for twists or for braids. This is really good at sealing and moisture and just like protecting your hair. It smells good. Okay, let's get that right. Not like most girls, you know what I mean? <laughs> like she's thick, it's a paste. It's not necessarily a like a, a cream. Something that was sent to me that I'm actually like sort of low-key obsessed with now is this peppermint leave-in conditioner. I'm obsessed with it simply for the fact that it smells like peppermint. Oh my god, it smells so good. It just reminds me of like Christmas time or like peppermint bark. I'm actually gonna try it a little bit right now. It's really like, I don't even know. It's like close to a foam almost. Ooh, yes. Is there any oil in here? Water, okay, peppermint oil obviously, and then coconut oil, aloe vera leaf juice, and jojoba seed oil. Okay. Yeah, I actually really like this. Put a little more up in that joint. <laughs> I also really like this Rasta Jamaican Mango and Lime Pure Naturals um, Coconut Conditioning Mist. I have reviewed some other products from this line, but not this specifically. Um, or maybe I have. Girl, I just can't remember my, my memory. I didn't know how much I needed this. This is so good, especially when I'm traveling. This doesn't have like too many crazy ingredients in it. Let me see. There's water, calendula, yucca, rosemary, sage, argan oil, gooseberry, fruit extract. What? Peppermint. It's water base so it's like gonna moisturize your hair and then there's oils in it as well so it's sort of like a spray on leave-in conditioner and I'll go ahead and I'll just like spray my hair every once in a while I'm gonna do this to my twist right now my twist are probably like girl we have enough okay stop playing around stop spraying stuff in us oh I'm gonna smell like peppermint and fruit today this last one is gonna be TGIN's honey miracle mask what? How come none of y'all told me that this was lit I've been using um Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask Jesus, why? 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 Who named these products? But this one almost smells like a bakery. Like, ooh, girl, like, can I get one of those? You know what I mean? How much are the croissants? The consistency is so, like, gooey, milky, just like a rich cream. And it did my hair so good. The first ingredients are water and raw honey, so. Listen, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> That's lit. I still use Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey Mafira Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, but 
that from time to time is also really good to use. So now we're gonna move on down the road to the grooming products. Things that I like to use in order to sort of keep up with my appearance. Now I told y'all before that I don't really like using petroleum on my lips. Much like I don't like it, you know, on my hair, I don't like it on my lips either because it just sucks all the water out of my lips. So when I found this in some blessed corner of a Dwayne Reed in the middle of Brooklyn, I cried. Doth the gods hear my checked lip cries? Because this was sent from heaven. Y'all, it's a lip balm from Carmex. I know they use a lot of petroleum, okay? But this one doesn't have petroleum. It's called a colloidal oatmeal lip balm. I'm not sure if that's like a type of lip balm that's out there. Maybe people have known about this for ages and I'm just, you know, getting hip to it right now. The ingredients are a bit weird. Like, I don't know if y'all can see that little picture right there, but uh, let's see if it focuses up. Okay, that's uh, watermelon and oatmeal. Um, I don't know who's eating that for breakfast. Apparently it's made with oatmeal and watermelon. It's a little confusing the wording back here. It says it's an all natural sort of thing and there's no petroleum in it, but it also says natural lip balm formula with artificial flavor. So I think that the watermelon ain't all that real, but whatever. It comes in sort of a weird container. Usually you would just pop open the top and then turn this thing at the bottom and watch the stick fall out or come out. But this is the top and you take it all the way out like that and then, girl, mm, mm-hmm, yup, <laughs> yup. It's just so good, okay? I don't get that sort of like tectonic plates look like you had an earthquake on your bottom lip type cracksness. I don't got all of that going on down there when I use this, nor do I have it after I use it. This was literally, I think it was $2. $2, y'all. Cheap, cheap. Gang gang. Next up we have Jamaica Mango and Lime Black Castor Oil. Now I would have included this with the hair uh, stuff, but I feel like I use this also for my beard, my eyebrows, and I use it for my cejas. I think that's what you call these things in Spanish. Come on, somebody, help me out. Hey Siri, how do you say eyelashes in Spanish? My web search turned something up for how do you say eyelashes? That's not good enough, Siri, okay. But anyway, the castor oil is amazing and my eyebrows, I think, are getting a bit thicker. She's getting thick. So next up, I have something that I was influenced to get. That's right, you heard me. I was peer pressured into wanting this because so many people here on YouTube were reviewing this. Shayla Corian, hey, it's Morgan. I'm obsessed with them, so I'm naturally obsessed with anything that they buy. It's a toothbrush from Quip. First of all, get into this packaging. Okay, it's all the way in the future. But Quip is basically, um, it's I think it's a subscription like toothbrush service and they give you everything that you would need to keep your mouth clean. Quip actually sent me this toothbrush, so shout out to Quip. I was so obsessed with this, like not even playing. I wanted one so badly and Look, voila. What really made me want it one was because it was cute. They come in like different colors. It's an electric toothbrush. And it comes in this cute like travel case. There's this back sticky thing here that you can stick onto the wall or onto your mirror so that you can keep it there nice and cute. Like this. Oh girl, we got some more goodies in here. We got some toothpaste. And so this is like a smaller toothpaste and it's like anti-cavity and it's mint flavored. So, <clears throat> girl, tasty. Oh, I like this. They give you all types of like tips and stuff. Brush gently, angle at 45 degrees, short strokes, scrub your tongue, get all corners, okay? Okay, they do way more than I thought they did. They have like online dentists and stuff. What's this? It vibrates. <gasps> Y'all hear that? It's vibrating. So next up we have this. First of all, there's like a bunch of oil stains on here because I think, I don't really know where the oil came from. I just don't really know. I will never know. But if y'all can read that, it says upgrade your shave. That's because this is a complete wet shave kit. And like if I knew somebody who had like, especially like a clean shaven face, I would get this for them as a birthday gift, a Christmas present, or something like that. It comes with all of this stuff. So you have this razor, right? I could make a house with this. You have to replace the blades every so often, but you'll put the blade in there. There's this little cup here that's so cute. Oh, and it smells like a barbershop. If you've ever been in a barbershop and you have gotten your head, you know, <laughs> chopped, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the soap that comes with it. So this is sort of like a shaving cream. I took the brush and then I um, like wiped it around on the soap a little bit like that. I put a little bit of warm water in here. I swirled it around like I was baking a cake and literally like magic forms a little froth that you go ahead and you put on your skin. That's basically like shaving cream. And you just shave it off like that. And it's so cute. I feel like this is such an experience. And if you ain't too sharp with your hands, you know what I mean? It does come with an Allen block. And Allen 
alum is used for like fighting razor burns. And this stuff actually felt really good. It was very cooling when I did it myself. Also, here's a picture of sort of the first time that I tried this out. It was actually really fun. I used it for my neck and my cheeks. Obviously, I'm growing up my beard. I'm not really, you know, I ain't finna, you know, shave this off with the wet shave kit. This was really cute. I'll leave um, information on where you can find this if you're interested in it. If you don't have a beard and you want it like a clean, clean shave, this helps you do that. I also have this hair tea. It's called Good Hair Don't Care, which is funny, but it's a superfood detox tea, but it also is a hair conditioning tea. I don't know if y'all seen like Natural 85's video. Back in the day, she did this video about stopping shedding by using tea in her hair. She brewed some tea and she put it in her hair and I was like, what? This makes no sense. But tea has a lot of good things in it that help your hair. So I'm excited that there's this company out here called um, the Matcha Reserve, which is literally the same people that sent me the matcha tea. So girl, you best believe I'm about to brew all these tea leaves and put it in my hair. You usually use it as a rinse, and that's what Natural 85 did as well. She just like brewed some tea leaves and then she rinsed her hair with it. You can literally sip this and then put it in your hair. What? Stay tuned for a future video on this. Next I have this pouch. Now it's been beaten up a little bit because I've dragged this all around New York City with me. But it's this little pouch that I got from ASOS. And it has this long sort of thing. I've been looking for something that would replace my pockets because I used to like keep all of my cards and just all my important stuff in my back pocket. And I've gotten robbed a few times <laughs> in my life. And I just don't want to have that happen anymore. But I also wanted something that wasn't like a purse or a bag or a book bag. Perfect. It was like the color that I wanted, it had just the right amount of pockets that I needed. It was love at first click. Because it hangs like this, I can sort of hide it in my jacket and I can open up my jacket and be like, whoop -ah! All the while keeping my stuff safe on my body. Next are these shoes that I've literally worn twice, okay? These shoes, I got them for, I don't even know, maybe, I got these from ASOS as well. Sort of like galaxy, I don't know what you would call this, but you see how it's like rainbowy almost? and it has that detail on the back as well. They were probably $20. You think you're gonna have to tie your shoelaces, but no, it's really just a stretchy sort of opening. But these shoes are lit, they're so cute. Okay, I love just rocking like an all black outfit and having my shoes be like a statement piece. And these are a very subtle statement, okay? If you ain't trying to say much, go with these. All right, everybody, that brings us to the end of another episode of Will on a Whim. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. If you thought this was a whole drag, like a boring video, I don't know how you got to this point, if it was, but if you really did think that this was like boring and you don't really want to see this go ahead and let me know like i appreciate that feedback don't hit that dislike button girl don't do it just tell me in the description box or you can't do that go ahead and tell me in the comment section but if you did like this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up if you want to stick around and be my friend and be my homie go ahead and click that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter instagram and snapchat i'll see all of you back here real soon for another episode of will on a whim but until then bye